makes sense now really when you think about it with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry when you also realize exactly how calculating and more importantly difficult they are to deal with let's be honest staff come and go like shelling peas don't they but consequently there's always a further fetch as I've mentioned here before on the show and the problem of course with Meghan Markle is she wants certain things but when you have a husband that simply won't behave in public, whatever you think, yes, Harry's used to the royal way of life, but more recently he's thrown loose. He's decided to become a little bit more avant-garde, shall we say, hippie chick, all that sort of stuff. No socks at the Kevin Costner event. Nothing too wrong with that, but then again, it's something that we're not necessarily used to seeing him with. The bigger problem now for Meghan Markle is this, when Prince Harry actually did this, what it's now truly signified over in the United States of America is that her American dream, whatever she thought that was going to be, is well and truly over and it's all down to him. Morning, nice to see you. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. And thank you for the way about the NHS and the MP Jess Phillips. You see they spy on you every single way. Yeah, I always say to you, don't be careful what you write down and stuff like that. Have you noticed they're always asking you about your birth date when you go to the doctors? What year were you born? How many more times do you need to tell them? You know, why don't they just get a foghorn pasted up on a screen outside so everybody can see? You know, I get really angry with that, don't you? Yeah, well, 1895 is not that long ago, is it? You know, but on a serious note, why do they need to keep asking you? But I'm glad you liked the video. Good fun as ever to get that message out there. Now, not so good fun over here in the United Kingdom is this debacle for, of course, uh, Meghan Markle, because literally her dream, you might as well just say it's now finished. Whatever the plan was, unless she goes solo, basically she's stuffed. And it's all thanks to her husband, Prince Harry. You see, when he released his book over that period a while ago now, there he was boasting in the book about how he'd taken various drugs cocaine, magic mushrooms, all that sort of stuff, in the context of his life then. Some suggest, other authors in fact have suggested, that this continues to this day, allegedly. But you see, the bigger problem was the visa. Once you fill that application form in, if you have any druggy past or anything like that in the United States, and I'm sure it could be the same in your part of the world, well then, you know, there are complications attached. Harry fought hard along with his lawyers, very expensive lawyers, costing more money against a company who were trying to get that particular visa application exposed. Now, a judge has ruled that no, it doesn't need to be in the public domain. Interesting to note though, you see, because as you recall, uh, the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, has said that should he get back in power, naturally he would cast an eye over that. I'm in two minds about that because I simply think he's respectful enough of the British monarchy and I really believe he wouldn't want to upset His Majesty the King. That could be a problem, but maybe if you get Donald angry, well, that could be a different corner, couldn't it? Moving forward, you see, the reason why Meghan's dream is truly well and wiped out the door is this, the backlash in America is now basically saying, here comes a Brit, you know, related to the British monarchy and has very special privileges. There is no reason why that document should not be made public. Everybody knows that, but somebody somewhere knows what's truly inside. Harry now looks like a born liar. And the bottom line is he would have done far better had he had personally said, here it is, this is what I wrote, I have nothing to hide. By hiding it, clearly he has. And then the other side of the coin is now this perpetuates down to Meghan Markle's dream. Their person, if you like, their personalities now across America have sunk to an all-time low, particularly with the younger market that they were much trying to keep on side. Moving forward now, as a source told me, the only way that Meghan can literally make her dream come true will be to look to the future. And perhaps that future might be not to saddle herself with somebody who literally keeps putting his foot in it time and time again. The more she tries to build the dream, you know, the podcast, the book, uh, the ARO, all that sort of stuff, the more the person next to her makes sure it's never going to happen. Either way, rocky times for the Sussexes in their marriage ahead. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.